Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, Earthlings. I hope you're all doing well. This is quite a heavy video. Unfortunately, not everybody is doing well. Um, I've just seen a story of a teenager who has committed suicide because of bullying in school. Um, I'm not going to name them because the family are having to deal with enough as it is, which sort of is like what I was saying yesterday. That we all need to be grateful for what we've got. Every Friday we light our candles and thank God for what we've got. That we're all together, happy and healthy. Unfortunately, that is not the case for all families. Now, when I read about this story tonight, it just opened up a whole load of old wounds because both my kids were bullied. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Both my kids were bullied in school. To such an extent, eventually, we just took them out because the school, were, and I'm not going to name the school or even the country, they wouldn't do anything. They were very much of the opinion that the bullies were... <coughs> Bless you. Could you go close your nose and then come back? Okay, Please. Fine, Thank fine. you. India, maybe you can oh, move over. Yeah. This is India. This is Benji's girlfriend. Hello. So, not, not one of my children, but again, has suffered bullying. And it was always sort of the case <coughs> that the teachers were like, the bullies are poor little darlings. They're poor little children. We can't be too mean or hard on them, that's not the way. Well, as you all know, I don't believe in being judgmental or punishment or prison. I'm always in favour of trying to find another way. But in this instance, having had years and years and years of bullying as a parent and watching my kids go through it, I am of quite a different opinion on that. Now... To get an opinion from the younger people, have you ever been bullied, India? Yes. Yeah? That's a stupid question. Um, what did the school... Oh, they didn't care. No. They did, like, I tried to address it to them, they were like, oh, just continue with your studies, you have to pass. Because no. I've gotten bullied in primary school, uh, which is called in the UK, but middle school here, and the high school, and they didn't care for both of them. What sort of kids were they? Uh, maybe the parents rich or deprived? Or? Uh, they were just like, uh, in a way, the popular girls. Right. Yeah. And they would always make fun of me, saying, Oh, you so. Like, I don't know, I can't even think of any. Well, this girl who's just killed herself, they, they videoed her being beaten up, yeah. put it on TikTok and Snapchat. Reminds me of the video a while back. What video is that? You, you need to speak up a little bit because the ceilings <coughs> are so high here. The video of the girl getting beaten up in jib recently. Well, not recently. Oh, that one. Ago. Oh, I didn't see that. Don't you I remember Kaisa that. going on about it? I never no. saw the video, but I, I saw What did I say at the beginning of this? It's best not to name people. Yeah, but Kaisa was talking about it. Right, right. I didn't hear about that, but I don't doubt it. She was mentioning it in the workshop. She stopped, she stopped sending WhatsApps to yeah. me about things like that because the last time I saw stuff like that, I complained to the chief of police and, and he was very kind and he invited me for tea to assure me that stuff's being dealt with. But I'm, I'm not singling out Gibraltar. This happens all over the world. Yeah. Benjamin. Yes. Your recollections are being... If you could sit up and be a bit nearer the camera. Oh, the camera can see me perfectly fine. <laughs> but can it hear you? Yes. Probably. Okay. Your experiences are being bullied without naming countries, places, schools, people. Yes. The majority of why I got bullied, I think, is partially because of us living on the boat. Right. People perceived me as a hobo for that exact reason. They didn't have to be a particularly popular group of people. They just had to be people of a higher status than me in the school, which wasn't difficult. There was only, like, three kids below me in status, from what I remember. Right. Uh, but they didn't get picked on near as much as me. You know, there was a time in year seven, or seventh grade as Americans say, <clears throat> that everyone in the playground, and I mean everyone, was chanting, Hobo, Hobo, Hobo. And that was like a, a tipping point for me. It's one of the... When it comes to the bullying, I forget a lot of it because it's just sort of like... I want to forget about it, mm -hmm. but it's like few things here and there that stick out, and that was one of them. I ran over to the bathroom stalls to just, you know, let it all out. Yeah, had all the bullies jumping over the stalls in the bathroom, unlocking it, 
so that they could open the door and continue laughing at me. Yeah. The teachers came in and said, what's going on in here? And they said, oh, we're just messing around. I went, okay, and walked away. Yeah. Uh, another few times. Majority of when they would properly pick on me was outside of school. Mm. It's like throwing rocks at me in the car park mm -hmm. when I had a shaved head. Yeah. Calling me Baldy Locks. Yeah. And how, how old were you, roughly? Because um, a lot of people won't understand year seven. I don't, because when I was at school, we didn't do, we didn't do been, the years like that. I would have been between 11 and 12. Yeah, and you were quite short for your age and tiny as well, weren't you? I only started growing till about 15, 16. Yeah. After that, I was like, you know, four foot. Did you ever 11. feel suicidal? Uh, no, because my idea of suicide has never been, oh, let this suffering end. It's, if I'm going to go out, I'm bringing them with me. And so then, right, okay, so I, if I can no, stop no, you there, I just no, gotta, because I've got to be careful of YouTube and algorithms. Yeah, I know, but, but there were a few What times. you're referring to are the stories that we sometimes see in the newspaper school shootouts. Yes. Yes, okay, I don't think we need to elaborate. Okay. Um, yeah, both my kids, many times over the years, when they see these stories of school shootouts, have said, I know exactly why that happened. Um, and I'm sorry, yes, you get driven to it. I, I spent more time in my children's schools, I think, than they did, talking to the head teacher, talking to the teachers. Uh, they even had a police liaison officer who would go in, and he actually told me, you know, your son's just really ugly and unpopular, and it, that's kind of asking for it. So I'll just show you my Benjamin again. Yeah, what's ugly about me? I'm fucking gorgeous. You are fucking gorgeous. You are. Okay, that's not something everyone so, but now. really this video isn't so much for <laughs> my subscribers. I'm hoping that if there are any teenagers out there or parents who've got kids who are suicidal, they get to see this. How did you... Well, firstly, I'd like to say my daughter was also bullied. I know the bullies to this day. You're 19, Faith is 22, nearly. 21. She's nearly 22. Yeah. And you're 19. Most of their bullies and their parents are drug addicts, they've been in prison, so the teachers protecting the little darling bullies didn't actually do them any favours at all. I think those bullies would have done well to be dragged out and popped in the prison for at least one sleepover to just get a little idea. At the very least, and I don't believe in hitting children, I would have liked to go in the room and have a little chat with them. Because sometimes just a stern chat can be enough. When I was at school, I was terrified of the teachers. They only had to look at me. These days, what the hell is going on in the schools that the teachers allow this? And this poor teenager who's just committed suicide, her father says they wouldn't even call the police. They said, oh, well, we might consider suspension. Well, God, I hope those teenagers go to prison and you won't hear me saying that stuff like that very often. On the other hand, Benjamin is almost captain of the dolphin boat. He's qualified to be crew on a super yacht, which is the next step of his career. My daughter, I can't say what she's doing for a living because she just landed a fabulous international job and she's going to Milan soon, but further than that, I can't say. So my kids took them out of school, let them do some online schooling, and they're soaring with their wings, whereas the bullies, so if you're out there and you're being bullied, these bullies, they will end up in dog shit street because they're dog shit people and you're not. If you are a victim of bullying, don't you bloody well dare commit suicide. Don't even think about it and don't think about school shootouts. And the teachers saying they're not going to do anything, the teachers who do that are dog shit as well, in my opinion. How do you feel? Do you see your bullies around these days? Firstly, India. Um, yeah. <laughs> and are they roaring successes in life? Uh, not really. <laughs> now they're like really like heavy into drugs and alcohol smoking and anything like that okay as he says as he's sucking on a vape i've also asked you not to vape on the video and ben do you ever see your bullies around this is for like imagine there's someone out there who's 11 or 12 13 14 who's being bullied yeah. give them tell them the truth well, it does get better i mean i don't really see many of them some of them i see please sit forward it's yeah. just polite to yeah. the viewer some of them i see as like a, a delivery driver. Right, but there's nothing wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong with that. They were like, oh, you know, shooting for the stars. 
Any drug addicts of yours? I mean, I don't really hang around drug addicts, and I don't really see much of it, so I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But there is one kid in particular I won't name. Okay. That... I found that all the bullies drive around on automatics, and I'm sorry to anyone out there that drives an automatic, but everyone in this area has an automatic, and when you have a manual, you just feel superior to them, because... Right, okay, but I can explain, I, I can explain that. They're all driving not... around on Yamaha N-Maxes, yeah, not... and this one particular kid, who I always see by the marina, fishing, right, sees my weapon and goes, Gijo, my, my N-Max faster Stop than it. yours. All right, think, okay, oh, thank oh, you, yeah. thank you, getting a bit too specific. Basically, what he's saying is, he's a 19-year-old lad, wants the dream sports bike, and he's got the dream sports bike. Because he qualified as crew, he's training to be captain, he's on a decent wage, he's got a beautiful motorbike now, whereas they, teenage lads, are on their mum's scooters, basically, and they're lucky if they're not on drugs, and a lot of them... No, no, they're not on their mum's scooters. They go out personally and buy these automatics because they don't know how to drive a manual. They're that unintelligent. All right. OK. Well, thank you both very much for joining me. And anybody, any parent out there, if your <laughs> kid is being bullied and the school are not listening, my advice is just take them out of school. I know that's easy for me to say, and it was difficult for us, but we did it. It's we not just... as easy as that, though, because these days... Well, we did it. No. We did it. You see, that's because we live... <laughs> Cross border and everything. No, like that. even yes. if you're in the UK, if you live in the these UK, schools have got to learn that when kids are bullied, if they don't do something, and I, the Daily Mail's on this particular story, I hope that the, the head teacher and some of the teachers end up in front of the courts. Never mind taking YouTubers to court for being outspoken or saying things out of turn. You get some of these teachers go down for a month or two when they don't deal with bullies and they allow this child neglect to go on in their schools to the point that children are even thinking about suicide. Few of them go to prison. I think you'll see a very big change of heart. I'm sorry if I come across as angry on this one, but I can't bear the thought of young people ending their lives when their lives are only just beginning yeah. because of negligent, stupid teachers, systems and policies. Yeah. These are children's lives, as always. Thank you for listening. Hang Comments on. below, I, I and I think I'm going to end it no, there. I want to add something. Okay, okay. If you are getting bullied, the <laughs> advice I always had as a kid was go and tell a teacher, let them know, and they will sort it out. That couldn't be further from the truth, okay? If you are... No, no. If you are under the age of, say, 16, right, and you're in school and you're getting picked on, let's say they're pushing you around into walls and you know, knocking your books over when you're walking down the corridor. You are a minor, okay? If you were to punch them in the face, what's the worst you're going to get? A slap on the wrist? A lunchtime detention? I would personally say, if I was in school today, if someone it. picked on me, I would rather a lunchtime detention and having the satisfaction of knowing that the bully has a broken nose is a lot better. So do it while you can. Okay, let's see if I keep my channel after all that uh, promoting violence. Which, yeah, off camera, I'd probably say something similar myself. In fact, I think I did. And my kids were so good, they both said, no, mum, violence isn't the answer. But uh, mm -hmm. I had one or two doodars myself at school, and I'll tell you what, bullies don't come back for a second one. I think we're going to leave it there. But thoughts, opinions, and my heart goes out to that family and any other family suffering this.